what's up there guys so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use the waypoints today uh, I got the G box here in my pocket so I'm gonna go ahead and hold for this flight got it in my hand here and uh, let's go ahead and get this bird up in the air show you exactly how easy this is I'll go ahead and hit takeoff we're gonna got 10 satellites I'm gonna go ahead and slide to take off One. There she goes. All right, I should get a slider here in a sec. There it is, it went into hover mode. We're gonna go ahead and take her up nice and high. Eighty-five feet. We'll take her up to about 125 here. 145, that'll work, that's fine. Now, as you can see, I have a manual control stick here. If I push forward on this stick with my thumb, it's going to send it forward. You can pick up the speed as you go, but what we're going to do is show you waypoints here. So all I'm going to do is choose where I want to fly to. I'm going to tap on the screen where I want to go, and then I'm going to tap the waypoint, and it's going to automatically take off in that direction of the waypoint. When it reaches that waypoint, we'll change to another direction here. Go ahead and open the map up a little bit more. There we go. So we're 400 feet away, coming up on 500 feet away. Let's go ahead and tap over here for another waypoint. Let me drag the map. Go ahead and tap right over here. Go. Command. It's gonna change locations now. Head to the new waypoint destination. Oh, I guess I lost connection with the G-Box here. There's a lot of interference out here. Let's see if I can stop hover. and hover. There we go. Let's try another waypoint here. We'll try Command. one a little closer. There we go. On our way to that waypoint. So we need to modify this uh, G-Box transmitter with maybe like a 3 dBi antenna. But like I said, I'm also in an area with a ton of interference. So, should be coming up on that waypoint. Right, we're gonna set another waypoint for Command. right here. Make it turn real fast, start heading to the new waypoint. It's easy, man, it's a, it's a waypoint bird. There she goes, off to the new waypoint. Oh, <laughs> there's so many trees and stuff out here. Hover. It went into another return to home here. I think I connected again. Yeah, let's try to hover, hover it. Yeah, this area is horrible for waypoints, man. I need to try to find another location. Hover. I should be connected again here. She's going to RTH anyways. There we go. I got control again. Hover. All right, let's try to send her out one more time here. Command. There she goes. So yeah, guys, we're gonna modify this G-Box. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Because uh, once again, I am in a pretty heavy interference area, but at the same time, you know, we should be having a little easier. I'm gonna try to avoid the field. We're gonna let it hit that waypoint, and then we're gonna choose uh, away from the field direction. So there's just a ton of stuff out here that could be potentially causing my interference. We're 500 feet away. Let's go ahead and tap over here. Command. Give it a new, new point, new point of direction. I also need to just tear this G box apart. Nope. <laughs> Something out here is killing my interference, man. I'm getting tons of it. I keep uh, losing connection to the G box. So this is probably not the best area to fly at. I was gonna do this yesterday, but oh well. All right, well, you guys understand. All you do is uh, we'll, hover. we'll hover it one more time. Let's see here. We'll let her stop for a sec. Um, I'll just tap one more spot close to me here. We'll send it on another waypoint. Command. So that's all you do is just tap the screen and hit go, and then it goes to that waypoint. Very, very easy. But out here, I'm only getting like 500 feet of range, so not good. We're going to try to turn the directional antenna here. Still got 52% battery. 
Did she reach that waypoint? Yeah, I think so. She's coming up on it now. All right. Excellent. Yep, nope. I'm having tons of Wi-Fi interference out here. It's going into another return to home. We're going to let it this time. So I need to find another location to do some waypoints. We're also going to, like I said, modify this G-Box with some 3 DBI antennas. I'm going to tear this apart as soon as I get a chance and uh, solder in an antenna and show you guys how this works. So she's coming home. But you see waypoints are super simple. There she is. Came back. Right above me. We're going to go ahead and hit land. land. I've got manual controls over it again. Oh man, there's a hawk checking it out. Uh-oh. No, I think we're good. I'm gonna take her right on down. Here she comes. Not bad. She's about, I don't know, maybe a foot away from where she started. So that GPS is pretty accurate. Oh, she's about two, two feet away from where she started. Not bad. Turn off in a sec. There you go. All right, well, next time, guys. Ugh. Next time, guys, I'll come out to an area with a lot lower interference. It is pretty, a lot of stuff out here that could potentially be causing that G-Box a lot of interference, so. But, as you can see, waypoints are very easy. I think the furthest we made it out was like 525 feet or something like that. Which isn't very far, but I was able to go out to about the middle of the field. So, we will have to work on that. Yeah, yeah. You ready to go for a 360? Whee! Yes, the gimbal goes all the way around. Hey, good to see you again. So guys, that was my easy waypoint tutorial. I apologize, I'm getting so much interference out here. It really kind of sucks. But uh, we are about to modify this G-Box and uh, extend this range. I think we just have to pop this clear glass off. There should be some screws. We can take this out and we'll uh, solder in some three DBI antennas to really increase the range on this bird. That way you can actually go on some decent waypoints regardless of interference because like I said, not the best spot to be testing it, but it is what it is, man. I'll see you guys later. Easy waypoint tutorial. Tap the screen where you want to go and hit go. If it disconnects from the G-Box, it automatically goes into return to home, which we were having a lot of today, unfortunately. All right, toodaroo.